You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Ready? We're looking for the domain of a rational function. <laughs> that function, all right. Well, what? You know, you can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. Oh. Please stop trying to do that. So what? Huh? That's bad. Ah. Ooh, I'm just trying to show you. <laughs> You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. So you go and you're like, oh, denominator. Where are you equal to zero? And then what? Huh, looking like the factors of 28 to subtract to be three. T, T, oh boy. Uh, Look like seven and a uh, four. Why? Four times seven is twenty-eight, and then seven minus four is three. To he, to he. How do we assign the signs? Well, all right. So they need to be opposite signs, cause when they multiply, they need to be negative. And all right. So what? That product after we add them. They need to be a uh, positive. So that's a positive seven and a negative four because seven minus four is a positive three. Tee hee, tee hee. So wait, what do we see? We see, well, this needs to be equal to zero. Well, that needs to be not equal to zero. Why? Because we can never divide by zero. We can never divide by zero. We can never divide by zero. So I set each one of those factors equal to zero. X minus four is equal to zero, or X plus seven is equal to zero. Then, yeah, you got that one. It's in frame. This uh, is four and this is, ah, uh, minus seven. And what are those? Those are the values that X cannot equal Y. Because you can never divide by zero. And those are the values that are gonna make the denominator equal to zero. So when you're looking for the domain of this rational function, then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just put those there. That's a four and that one there is a minus seven. Whoa. Go, go, gadget, seven. What happened? There you are. Boom, all right. Those are the values that you can't be. So I'm gonna just put some open circles there. If I shade that end, I shade that end, I shade that end, what am I looking for? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the values that this function can be. Those are the domain of that rational function. You can never divide by zero. Those are the values that make it zero. So how do I write that? That's minus infinity and that goes to minus seven. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put that together with this middle part and this middle part is the part where some people forget. Please stop forgetting that middle part because those are good too. And that's a minus seven to a four there. And then I'll onion that up with Oh, I know I say onion, but union is spelled like onion. So then that's um, four to infinity and beyond. So if we're looking for the domain of a rational function, that's the quotient of two functions, you know, you can never divide by zero. So you go and you take that denominator, you set it equal to zero, and then what? You solve that by setting each one of those factors equal to zero. And when you're writing an interval, notation then the parts that you're not included have the curvy brackets and um i think that's just about it Bust some flowers. Mm.